In March of 2013, Michigan became the 24th right to work state in the nation. What changes have we seen since the law went into effect? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the 2014 West Michigan Policy Forum taped at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel in downtown Grand Rapids. Joining me now is the president of the WinQuest Group and the former president of Amway, Dick DeVos. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's a pleasure. Good to be with you. So last year, or the last forum, which was actually two years ago, one of the main topics was right to work and uh, obviously uh, you came out of the conference you didn't just sit back and do nothing we saw a policy change uh, take effect following that discussion well there's a lot of good things that have happened in michigan in my opinion uh, becoming a freedom to work state where people were are able to freely choose whether they want to join a union or not join a union give them their money or not it was a very positive change for the workers and for, for the citizens of Michigan to be able to make that choice. And it's had a real positive impact already and probably much more to come in terms of economic growth and expansion in our state. So it's been a really, really good thing. One of many, I think, good changes that have been happening in this state in the last four years. Help us see that positive impact because I think most people say they really probably haven't noticed any difference at all. Well, you know, I think there are a couple of couple of things. One, if you're a member of a, of a, of a labor union or trade union, you now have new freedom. Freedom also means power. You have the power to be able to walk away from that union and take your money with you. You're not a victim of the system anymore. So if you don't like what they're doing, if you don't believe that they're offering benefit to you as a citizen, then you can take your money and walk away and put it in your pocket instead. Now that, that means that the that union leadership is going to be paying new attention to the members and taking care of their members in a brand new way. That's a real positive thing. And thousands of people across Michigan are exercising in their freedom. Oftentimes unions have taken people's money, their, their members' money, and have used it for political purposes that members say, you know, that doesn't reflect my values. That's not what I believe in. And, and my money shouldn't be, nobody's money should be used against their values. And so they say, you know what, I'm going to keep my own money, thank you very much. Unions, you stay out of politics. Some are, some are doing that. So that's changing the dynamic in Michigan. But big picture, What's happening is that in the big picture, Michigan is competitive in a brand new way. We're, we're now the, the, the largest manufacturing job creator state in the nation. We are the fastest growing in terms of manufacturing jobs. We've added nearly 300,000 new jobs in the last three years. Uh, we've been moving up the charts in every competitiveness measure that I've been able to see. These translate into jobs and opportunity for Michigan people. Is this because folks from the outside who are debating where they may want to start a plant or uh, any any type of, of... Absolutely. They look at Michigan now as being competitive with, with other states? Well, it's, there's two factors to that. First of all, the first thing you want to do is for the people who have businesses here, you want them to be expanding here and not looking elsewhere. You don't want them shop in other states. You want them to put their roots down and stay and expand and grow in Michigan. So by creating a more competitive environment, we get them staying here. Second is that we then are starting to attract other businesses. Recently, Toyota relocated jobs from Kentucky. Remember a few years ago when all of our jobs were going to Kentucky? Well, they now relocated jobs from Kentucky. That is a big change from the past, and we think freedom to work is a big part of it. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Dick DeVos, the president of the WinQuest Group and the former president of Amway.